Hey guys, welcome to the new fe fe feature at, jeez I can't speak today, of the new European map. I believe it is based in the Alps and it's called Falzenber? I don't know if I got that right. Uh, this is an amazing video actually. Unfortunately I've had to redo the music on it because of YouTube's copyright. So sit back and enjoy with a new audio track. Okay, here we are in the breakdown. So I've got this set to, I think, 40 times slower. So it being the Alps, of course, it's going to be very hilly and very scenic. And there's one thing that struck me while looking at this map is you look at the grass, the trees and everything. The grass especially is a lot more denser than we're used to seeing. And just look at the lighting coming on that train. Of course, that is a new model train. And you see it running throughout this video. Now, I kind of wondered if that is a user-controlled train or just maybe AI when it's going around. Now unfortunately in the video you just saw my version you don't hear the beautiful sound effects so in the description will be Giant's own video in all its glory. Highly recommend you actually watch that because there's so many different sound effects you hear underlaid underneath the song which is in the map. They're everywhere on these new maps from what we've been hearing. Just look how dense the grass is there. This is definitely not like a Giants map we've seen before, to be quite honest. It's very, very scenic. And just look at the light in there coming off the side as the way it's reflecting. That's completely different. The longer shadows, the fog, the crane up over there, that's a completely different model. Like, every model you're seeing, it seems, is brand new from what we've seen so far. I'm just absolutely amazed, to tell you the truth. And that look at that. Look how cool that looks just going up that hill there with the brick road and all of that. And of course, they've got to add their funny statues in. That's pretty cool, some cows leading up to a well, cow, pig, sheep, dog, and a bird up there by the looks of it. There's just so many different stores and stuff like that. Like, watching it slow down and being able to take it in a lot more, it's incredible, actually. You can see the sort of uh, bubblegum machine bin there, bus stop. The uh, recycling bins and stuff, a train crossing, coming down into sort of a another valley. And again, this looks very, very scenic here. I'm not too sure where this will be or what it will be. But you see the reflection coming off the water on the right-hand side of the screen there. It's just absolutely amazing. And the castle, that looks awesome. Definitely a very, very scenic map for sure. It'll be interesting to see how big this is and how we be able to play it. I'm definitely glad we've got two brand new maps. We can have two series running side by side. And that train, it's nice to have a different train in the game, not one that's been kicking around since 15. It does look like they've used the same train cars from before. That's very short, actually. Wow. And just a shot going into the countryside there by the looks of it, just as it's starting to finish up on the video. So, as usual, let me know if I missed anything in there. Let me know your thoughts on it. As I've said, recommend you guys watching the trailer on Giant's own page, whether it's whatever I link in the description down below because you can hear the audio properly. And well, coming out on the 20th. So until next time, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you later. See ya.